Aries, come on in, put your feet up and make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson. Welcome to Jen TV. All right, Aries, this is your love reading for today. I'm wearing a wig, by the way. <laughs> very short underneath all this. I just, I'm, I'm having an identity crisis. I can't figure out if I want to have short hair or long hair, so I've got a wig to see how I feel. I rather like it. Right. Aries, what do you need to know about love? What have you got for Aries, please? Bear in mind, well, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase them via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. Oops. Uh, each has its own perks, but the uh, Patreon probably got the best price. Aries, what do you need? That's the bottom of the deck. Eight of Swords. This is a prison of your own making. You got yourself here by not following your instincts, listening to yourself when you were like, well, I don't like this. You didn't trust yourself. So that's why you got to this point now, which I kind of feel like is rock bottom. I feel like you're... There's a bloody moth in here. Get out. Get out of here. Eating my cashmere sweaters, you little rascal. I feel like you've got to that point at rock bottom where you're like, about as sad as you could ever be. And you, I, I'm getting this feeling like you, you don't know how to get through the next minute. How are you going to even get through the next minute? And you want some guidance. Obviously, that's why you're here, right? So the overall vibe, we've got the Four of Swords. This is about taking some time to rest, to contemplate. Which is hard when you're at rock bottom. I know where you've been there. I really, truly have. I have so very much been at rock bottom. Well, more than once. If I'm going to be honest, I've been at rock bottom twice in my life. Quite close together. First one, everything started to get better. Oh, well, then it really hits again. Um, I, I kind of get the feeling you might actually relate to that. Uh, this is not your first rock bottom. Not your first rodeo. <laughs> I'm just feeling it out. Hold on. You know what? It, it kind of feels safe to say. This is probably your last true rock bottom. I mean, you're going to be sad again in your life, but never. This is this is as bad as it's got. So this is your chance now to think things through, think it over, meditate, chill, relax. Think about where you want to be, contemplate, set your boundaries. Because you've been hurt, and you've been hurt badly. And you're not going to let that happen again. So you need to think it over. Where's the pattern here? I know that you're in a, in a place now where you, you're almost in fight or flight. You feel like somebody's sitting on your chest and you can't breathe. And you want to know how to get through the next minute. So I'm here. I'm here for the next probably 20. So, you know, let's hang out together. Let's have this moment where I can help you. And, you know, it's it's fulfilling my need 
to be a light worker and help people. So you're doing me a favor. So thank you. Thank you for being here for me. Help me <laughs> fulfill my mission on this earth. We're gonna get through this, mate. You know why? You know why you're gonna get through this? Because as much as this has been awful for you, take a look at it. You want options now. Ooh, I got goosebumps then. Did you get goosebumps? You've got options now. Options that you didn't have before. And I know that Really? Did I have to go through all of this to have options? Yeah. The universe likes to make you uncomfortable so that you move. You just sit there in, in the uncomfortable yet. I'm so uncomfortable I know this feeling kind of. You would sit there and just allow that to be your life. The universe has made it. So that you actually can have a life now. You have options. Don't don't panic. Don't be in a panic. You know, just let's let's breathe now. Let's have a nice breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Look in the background. What can you see? You don't want to focus on my look. Have a look. See what you can see and listen to my voice. Point out five things you can see. Not that. Don't be thinking about that. Well, if you're in a really bad state, type it out for me. What, what can you see? It might help you calm down. Even if it's not on here and it's around you. Just something to get you in a nicer state. Not nicer, but you know, you're 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 panicking right now. Let's 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 help you breathe. What do you need to know right now? See, I'm telling you it's getting better. Oh, it's just wonderful. If I could, you know, go back eight years, seven years, seven and a half years, that's about the right math. If I could go back seven and a half years and tell myself I'm going to be okay, I, would, I really would. I'm going to be all right. Everything's going to be fine. And I, this is me telling you now, everything's going to be okay. You're going to be good. You're building yourself a new foundation out of, you know, the ashes and shards of your life that are around you right now you're going to rebuild them but you're going to do it right this time you're going to build your empire baby look at that sassy girl whether you're a guy or a girl look at that you can be that you can be that strong and empowered whatever your gender you can be the best version of yourself and you know what? I don't think you could be the best version of yourself before you went through Hellfire. You have to kind of go through it first. You have to experience, like, <laughs> I can't take anymore. You have to go through that to get to that point where you're like, oh no, it's on. I'm the best version of myself because you're never going to take crap ever again. You think, as you're going through it, that it's going to break you. And you think that you are. You think you're broken. You think your soul's dying. And then it doesn't. It doesn't break you. And your soul doesn't die. And you get through it. I know. I've been there. And it's hard for me to say all of this without, like, I've got a lump in my throat talking about it, you know? It just knowing that you are going to be fine and
you've been betrayed. Ooh, dropping the cards. You've been betrayed. You've been hurt. And you feel defeated. But you've had to go through that to get to this. Which you might not be Nine of Pentacles yet, but you are going to be. Because the fall in reverse is like... It's like a wary energy. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jump in with delicious abandon to life now. I'm gonna take baby steps and I'm gonna pay attention. And I'm gonna get all of the information about somebody before I get into something with them now. I'm not, I'm not gonna be fooled again. What else do you need to know? Look, there's a rainbow. Awesome. Temperance is about moderation, yeah, but it's also about having the patience. Like, you don't have it right now. You want to get through the next minute. You want to know that everything's going to be all right. It is. You know, start dipping your toe into the waters of life again, slowly. Don't just jump on in like a cannonball. Start taking your time. You've got options, remember? There's a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. Just work your way to it. And this is all in the now as well, which is amazing. This is not in, coming in the near future. I'm seeing all this in your now energy. Anything else Aries needs to go know before we move forwards? Beautiful, beautiful opportunities. The page of, of wands is like, it's a, Look at him, he's, he's shouting there. Ahoy! Good news! Ah! Oh, look, there's a cat there as well. Independence. Sass as well. Sass. You remember that. You're coming out of this with a whole new swagger. Like I said. You don't get to have that kind of swag if you haven't been through Hellfire. And when you've been through it and you walk on out the other side, like freaking John Travolta walking out of the street, mate. God, I was so uncool when I was like 11, 12. I used to like pretend to be John Travolta walking down the street. I used to like, my brother used to be like, you look like a knobhead. Don't strut, you look like a knobhead. I'm like, yeah, but I'm cool. I'm like John Travolta, he's like, you're not cool. You look like a knob. Thanks. And I did. <laughs> if I were to look at me now, I'd be like, wow, Jen. Don't do that. But I'm cool. I feel cool. Things are, are really going to start getting better for you. Which is almost frightening in a way. Because it's like you, you're you used to things being crap. I've still got this at the bottom of the deck. This has been a prison of your own making. You got yourself here. I know that. I got myself there too. What's coming up in the near future? This is about emotional insecurity. That's what's... It's like good things start to happen. You're like, ah, I don't want to lose it. I'm afraid of losing a good thing. I'm trying to cling to it. Mm. That energy. That's coming up for you. Now you know it's coming up for you. You don't need to panic. Because everything's going to be fine. All right? 
it's like a I don't know you see 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 animals that have been you know mistreated and they're wary and they don't let you in they don't let you close you know that's kind of the energy I'm picking up that's something that you need to deal with in yourself nobody's going to do that for you okay that's something that you need to work on things are going to start to get better yes 100 percent. like in the now as well but what you need to work on is that um somebody did terrible things to you and that's not going to happen again and even if it does I have to tell you, even if it does, you're never going to be as broken as you were. As you are now, right now at this moment. Because I, I have to say, in the last eight years, if, if I've been mistreated by somebody, it's, you know what, I've actually laughed. Apart from my twin flame. That was, that was, that was, but at the same time, it, it, you know, um, it's been... A hard journey with my twin flame but I, I, I and it's been agony and painful but I've still found it kind of funny <laughs> at the same time <laughs> Jeez, what do you do sometimes, sometimes it's just like if something bad happens I'm just like well you gotta laugh haven't you you're either gonna laugh or you're just gonna be like <laughs> like a mess on the floor just pulling your hair out and screaming you could take it one way or the other I don't think anything terrible is going to happen to you again. I got, I've got good vibes, but I, I, what I do feel is that you will push away people rather than get hurt again. That's something that I feel like you need to work on. There's a, a channel, she's called Jen Peters. And um, she's got an Instagram. I don't know if she's got a YouTube, but um, she does guided meditation. Yeah, she must have a YouTube. She does guided meditations um, that help heal you from emotional wounding. And I found her really helpful for me. Um, some of the meditations she does, uh, she does a little bit quickly. It would be nice if she did it a bit slower, but I, f I found them very helpful. And uh, another one is Reiki Rachel. Great channel. Um, uh, I actually listen to her meditations weekly. She's She's really good. Yeah, I feel like you're very mistrustful of um, new love coming in. Um, if you look at it like this, this is the new love coming in. Oh, look, here's a new little bit of love in my cup. And, and you're afraid of getting swept away by that tidal wave that's totally about to take her out. That's such a... I have to say... I, that looks like my daughter Zuni. She's so beautiful. Love that card. She looks exactly like her. You're afraid of uh, allowing somebody to give you their love and then sweeping you away and breaking your heart again. You're afraid of um, letting somebody have too much power over you as well with the Emperor in reverse. What I see is you being um, very happy and stable within yourself. The problem is when other people come in, is when it's like, oh, no, no, I'm not, no, 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 no. Because you don't want to get back to rock bottom. You're not going to get back to rock bottom. And if you stop 
going for the same type of person and I don't know allow a different type of person into your life you might see changes there's seven billion people on planet earth there's actually some good ones in there just a thought yeah I'm still single nearly eight years later I know I, I, I can't talk but you know I'm going through menopause, like perimenopause. I don't care about <laughs> being in a relationship. <laughs> like, I could not care less. I have no interest. I'm happy being single. I'll get me another cat. I'm good. The best you can hope for. Ten of Cups in reverse. I like it. I don't normally like it, but I like this for you. This is done. You are done. This person's not coming back. You're done with them. It's all over. You don't have to deal with this anymore. Anything else you want to add to that card? Beautiful. Oh, yes. So, yeah, you're done, remember? You're done. This is now where you stand in your power and you start building your life again. This is about um, security in your home and uh, Oh, my crush just liked something. <laughs> it's got a message to me. My crush liked something I did. <laughs> yeah, I've literally just told you I'm not interested in men. I, I, and I've just shown myself that. Beep. Okay. Before I move on, and no, I have no interest in men. I have a crush, but you know, my crush is kind of a little bit childish. I imagine myself walking around holding hands with him, and that's it. It's like, oh, well, we can hold hands. And that's that's as far as that goes. We can do things like have brunch together. Uh, you can kiss me on the cheek. I li literally that uh, adolescent, like, <laughs> how, how crushes work in my head now. So, yeah, I've got a crush, but that's all I want, okay? Anything else is just like, ugh. Ew. Anyway, back to you. So. Isn't that weird? Anyone else feel the same way I do? I, I, in the comments below, just let me know. <laughs> like, yeah, no, I do. Like, intimacy. No, thanks. I'd uh, rather not. <laughs> so this is you anyway um stable secure this is you like uh sorting your life out sorting your home out it's all tidy everything's good everything's got its place cooking good food i made a really great recipe recently let's like let's get a new recipe making good stuff at home good like getting healthy going to the gym you know uh feeling good within yourself oh, buy some new clothes <gasps> yeah you know it's it's this is and look there's the dog you're about loyalty now like if somebody isn't loyal to you you're out they have to prove themselves beautiful right and then the best you can hope for this is good, okay? I know that this tends to be a not-so-good card, but any... So the tower, yeah, it's... Oh, no, they're falling out of the tower. Oh, lightning, fire. Oh, God, we're all... Ah, bad. I... No, it's not like that. Look, the tower's... That tower wasn't built properly. That's the problem. So the tower's going to fall now. And now... You can find the route, right found. Can't get my words out. You can find the right foundation to build 
your empire. Okay. I gotta look at this. This is you in the in the near future. Where's my deck gone? Why is the King of Wands here for your energy? Not available emotionally, like for someone else. You you're available emotionally for you, and you know you got kids, you got pets, family. You're emotionally available for, you know, those loyal to you. Anything else? I feel like you're like, mm, no, I'm not. I'm actually not. I don't have space for anything else. I think that's kind of where I am. It'd be nice to hold hands with someone though. Have brunch. Talk about nice stuff. So unrealistic. That's why I'm just like, you know what? I'll just not bother. I can have a crush on someone and just not bother, right? I don't know, I, I do feel like to have relationships in the future, you're putting up obstacles. You're like, no, 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 I'm not ready. And that's totally fine. That's okay. You've got healing work to do. And you know, it might take you a while. So time is something that doesn't exist. Ignore it. It's, it's, it's not real. It's something that we invented. It's something immeasurable. So you take your time. If you want to be single for a while, you do that. I, it's, it's working for me. I just see like you, you balancing your life out, juggling. Money comes in, money goes out. You know, life happens. You're spinning plates, doing what you got to do. And that's fine. The outcome. Four wands. That's harmony. Celebrations and happiness. I mean, it can be marriage. But it's a good card. Um, for your extended... I'm going to read this now. But for your extended, I will ask... When love will come into your life again. And what kind of a person are they? Um, what do you need to look out for? And some guidance from the universe. You know, when, when is this going to, you know, change for you? But the outcome here is the four of wands and that's wonderful. Beautiful. So we've got, you know, life's going to be challenges, seven of wands. Life's going to be like that. Life's going to come at you and, and whatever happens, you've got this now. You're strong enough to deal with it. Happiness and harmony is coming in and... When things take a turn for the worst, you're going to be there to deal with it. And you're never going to let it get to this point again. Because you're this. You're the Queen of Wands. You're standing in your power. You are burning bridges to those who are no good for you. And you're finding uh, solace in little things like your creativity and building new friendships and what's the word I'm looking for? Being okay with your own company. Where are we? There we go.
Don't let pride get in your way. Hmm. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, don't let pride get in your way. I sort of want to say accept help or ask for help. Don't be afraid to. And I have to say, my comment sections are always really positive, lovely places. And not only am I going to get back to you if you're having a rough time, lots of other people will as well. You know, it's, uh, it's a really nice place to be, my comment section, because my subscribers are awesome. Your song of the day. Good enough. Written by me. If you look in my uh, playlist, there's one called My Music, and this is a song called Good Enough by me. You have me now, and all my baggage, I've been made to feel less than worthy. I want to turn that around and believe in love, but I don't feel good enough. Thank you for joining me. See you later.